Hey guys, so we're out in the garage again today. Um, we're working on my fuel cell and the whole fuel system. So we'll show you a bit about that. that I welded are just going to be the side mounts and the under mount. Um, that part will go up the side and down under it. Both of them. Um, the next part is I'm going to take this steel and that's what's going to go across here on the crossbars. So uh, I'm going to let this cool down. I'm going to try to bolt it up or just quick mock it up to that and somehow I'll get it in there so I can measure it all out and get it all cut and ready to go. All right, so after a little uh, head scratch and try to figure out what to do, I finally uh, think I got something going here. Um, we had to ditch the original plan because the fuel cell is way bigger than I thought. Um, ignore all the ugly tacks right this second. But we got, I got the main concept of it here. So that's what the fuel cell is gonna sit on and actually go, but it's almost up against this, not quite touching. And then it's gonna mount behind here. And instead of those bars being welded, I'm gonna take this bracket here that we made and just gonna weld it right there. And then I'm gonna run the bolts through the side. Two bolts there, and then same with the other side. I got one made for over here. Bam. So that will be bolted up. Now, in there, those aren't going to be welded either. I'm going to bolt those to that piece also. I'm going to try to get two bolts in there. Reason being, um, I noticed once I got the fuel cell in, I couldn't get it out. So, kind of want to get it out. After the experience with the truck last year and breaking my fuel cell, uh, and we just fixed it quickly, uh, instead of buying a new one, we are going to run that for now and see how it goes. But I think this is going to work out pretty good and then we will still be able to take it off and get a different fuel cell if something should happen or it not work. Um, I'm unsure about what I'm going to do about for the fuel pumps just quite yet due to the exhaust and all that, but we're going to keep uh, going away at it. So here we go.
pin back yet. Uh, but we have, uh, let's get the light on it. There it is. All right, you know, fuel line runs down. There's a the fuel filter. Uh, there's the, uh, gonna be the primary fuel pump. It's gonna hook right in the OEM spot. And then we ran all the fuel lines and the fuel for the uh, secondary trigger going to a hot switch underneath in all the OEM spots behind the exhaust, behind the heat shield, and on, on up. The uh, turn line actually is tucked in behind the brake lines and goes up to the fuel pressure regulator. Can't really see it on the video us from down here, but I do have all of the uh, fuel lines also in heat sleeve from there on up to the engine bay. Now let's go to the engine bay. Also, also the crash bar fits right there. It's also a little high right now because there's nothing holding up in the front. But the crash bar fits right over everything and the bumper will too when we get there. Okay.